This is a story about black holes and my favorite Dr. Seuss story. It is exactly 9.42 a.m. So black holes, by definition, are these areas of space where nothing escapes. Once light or matter passes this line called the event horizon, it's going to get sucked in and, and condensed in the super dense material at the center of this black hole, but nothing escapes. By definition, that's what it is. That's what black holes are. And supermassive black holes are these extra large areas of space where it's just sucking things in. And supermassive black holes form when those regular black holes start absorbing other stars, or they start combining with other black holes to make even bigger black holes. I can't believe that they're, they're real, that they actually exist, but most scientists agree that they do. And uh, in fact, there's a supermassive black hole at the center of just about every galaxy, is one of the newer theories. We have one in the center of our Milky Way, this big supermassive black hole just eating everything in sight. It's nuts. So I read this news story a couple of weeks ago about this physicist from Indiana University who's got a new theory about black holes. That's why I made this video. So he talks about a, a problem in our current theories of relativity and Einsteinian something or other that's way beyond me. But there's a problem in that in, in our model of the Big Bang where everything kind of exploded out from this tiny point it exploded out too fast. You can't explain how quickly in, the, in those first few milliseconds of the birth of our universe, matter expanded out from this point. And one of his solutions to this is, is this explanation of this new type of force in between particles. And part of the solution is this idea that there is a universe born in the center of every black hole. What? His idea is that there, there, we may be simply the universe in the center of a black hole that exists in another galaxy. And beyond that, inside of our black hole, say this supermassive black hole inside of our Milky Way, there may be another universe hidden within that black hole and it just goes deeper and deeper. I'm thinking about that for a while, cause it's just it's a trip. I, I can't believe this is, this is published in peer-reviewed journal literature. I mean, this is, this is a legitimate theory. I don't know if it's true. But it's an idea, and it, and it made me think about my favorite Dr. Seuss story, which is Horton Hears a Who. Now in Horton Hears a Who, Horton is an elephant, and uh, he is frolicking I think, in a pond, you know, in a jungle somewhere, and he hears voices floating past, and, and he looks for the source of these voices and can't find them, and eventually figures out and these voices are coming from this speck of dust. And on this speck of dust is actually an entire planet of beings called Who's. And Horton ends up befriending the Who's and, and protecting them because he's just so many orders of magnitude more powerful and bigger than they are. But the, the main idea of Horton Here's a Who is a person is a person, no matter how small. It's a great, I, I love Dr. Seuss, it's a great story. But that really is not that far off from this idea of, of universes inside of a black hole. And that's how I'm going to wrap this up here. Because uh, are, are we Horton or are we the Who's? I mean... Are we the tiny galaxy in the middle of someone else's black hole? Or are there other tiny galaxies in the center of the black holes in our Milky Way? Trips me out. This world is a crazy place. And I love you.